Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my return subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to Self Care Sunday, where we take some time out of our day so that we can replenish and just relax and have some time for ourselves to reflect. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm going to be using a cucumber mask sheet. And this is what it looks like. There you go. And on the back, it says that it's highly concentrated nourishing mask sheet containing cucumber extracts with which Restores hydration, brightens, and regenerates skin. We all want something to regenerate the skin. Um, it heals, reduces acne, inflammation, and blemishes, resulting in a cleaner, brighter, rejuvenated complexion. So I expect to look 15 instead of 57 by the time I am done with this. So we're gonna take that out first and then we'll just start talking and see how everyone's doing. This has one mask in it, and I got this off Timu, I believe, or Temu, depending on how you say it. And we're trying not to break it because they're very fragile masks. And is there one in here or is there two? No, there's just one. Don't you like the skeleton look? Let's put the nose thing down. And I should really make this with my thumbnail because I think it looks gorgeous. Oh, that broke. So that's right under the eye. You want to get under the eye without getting your eye. This all goes like that. This side's over a little bit more. But we'll just keep hydrating this area right there. Because, like I said, it broke. And I'm not sure which way it goes. It's very soft like tissue paper and you want it moisturized you want to rub it into where you have your deepest fine lines and wrinkles because the more moisture you put in those areas the less you will have of those problem areas and that is it so let's talk today um was a really stressful day for me it wasn't so much that it was stressful, but it was busy. And my caregiver decided to come over on his day off, which all of you know my caregiver is my ex-husband, to do something nice like bring me coffee, but I don't wanna be woken up when I don't have to be woken up. You know, it's been a lot going on here lately and you know, you wanna sleep. And if you can sleep, you know, cause so many people and so many of us have trouble sleeping, you know, um, and sometimes I don't go to bed till five in the morning and other times I fall asleep at nine o'clock at night till 11 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, you want to be able to get that sleep. So someone coming in and waking you up and he comes in like a whirlwind to begin with. But he came in to bring me coffee, which was very nice. It wasn't necessary. It was not needed. It's his day off. So I consider that my day off also. And then about 10 minutes after he left, my son called me up to, they were going on vacation. Him, my daughter-in-law and my grandson are going to Pennsylvania and they're going on vacation. So he asked me if I could go up and help my daughter-in-law without letting her know that he called. So I called and left a message and she calls me back and I was like, can I please come up and see the baby before you guys go? And she's like, no, <laughs> she's like, I'm too busy. So I was like, well, you know, let me just hang out with him for a little bit because I'm not going to see him until Tuesday. And she's like, of course you can come up, which I did. And I was there for about three hours. Now, I got up at 11. I forgot to take my medicine. I got up at like 10 to 11, forgot to take my medicine. So I didn't have anything when I was over there. And he threw a temper tantrum, but it was a fake temper tantrum because there were no tears coming out of his eyes or anything like that. And, you know, he just... When he saw me, he wanted to stop eating his lunch. He eats early because he goes to daycare and that's the time they feed lunches between 11 and 11.30 and then they have a nap time from 12.30 to like two. And I go up there and he sees me and decides he wants to play and stop eating and, and deviate from his schedule. And he's a very scheduled little kid. Like he knows his schedule even if he's at my house and he'll say, okay, Mima, I need some milk, I need some 
you know, my, my sassy, I need my blankie, I'm tired, you know, he'll let you know what's going on at his, at his time, you know, so he's very good on a schedule, but a little too good on a schedule, so when I got there, he got all riled up, wanted to play games, wanted Mima to sit on the floor, which Mima did, Mima can't get up off the floor very well, but she does try, um, and I'm on the floor with him and he's jumping up and down on my back, which I'm not gonna say no. And then he went on my stomach and I'm holding him up above my head. So my arms were killing me. He finally takes a nap and I'm talking to my daughter-in-law for about an hour before he woke back up. And about 15 minutes be after my grandson woke up, my son comes home and he's like a whirlwind also when he comes home and he's like, okay, we have to go on vacation. I'm gonna pack the car, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. You change the baby's diaper, you know, and do all that stuff, which was fun. It's fun while I'm up there. But when I come home from seeing him because he decided to jump off the bed and have Mima catch him and then spin him around, which of course I'm going to do, I am in traction, like <laughs> 24 hours worth of traction after I see him. And I told him today, I think he's bipolar because, you know, he sits there and he screams like a lunatic and has these crocodile tears coming out of his eyes when he cries, um, but which isn't often. And then he pretends cries and I told him no to stop. And he's like, Mima told me no. And I'm like, just come over here, you're fine. And we were playing with some of his toys, distracted him enough so that they could pack up the car and everything. And then I came home, come home. And my ex-husband is, my sister made this awesome, awesome breakfast casserole. And it had um, tater tots on the bottom. It had 18 eggs. Do you know how expensive eggs are, by the way? Like, they're really expensive. So it had 18 eggs in it. It had three different kinds of cheeses in it. It had um, pork sausage, green peppers, red peppers, onions, uh, three different types of cheeses, I think. And it, it was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. I go to sit down to finally eat and he comes over and he's like, well, we have to go pick up my, my son's car from the mechanic. And I was not in the mood <laughs> to pick up my son's car from the mechanic because I have been going the last couple of days like a chicken without my head cut off or with my head cut off. And I just didn't feel like going, you know? And he always says his buddies do this and tell him this and tell him that. And I was like, get one of your buddies to do it. And he's like, well, it's our son. And I'm like, I don't care, <laughs> I didn't mean this badly, whose son it was at that point. You know, I had just gotten home an hour before he got, got here. I was sitting with the heating pad on my back. Um, I had just taken my, my pain medication. Uh, I wanted to sit down and eat and actually talk to the rest of my family. I'll talk to my sissy and the rest of my family. And he was just like, well, we have to go now. And I'm like, the guy can't keep the car for a little bit extra time. And he's like, no, he said we have to get up there immediately. The guy never said that. You know, he just makes things up because he's a little bit insane, which is why we are no longer married because he would pull this crap when we were married. And I read him the riot act for a good 20 minutes, you know, and normally, you know, I can go with the flow, but sometimes he gets under my skin like nobody's business. And today was just one of those days. He's like, well, you have to do this and you have to do that. Don't tell me what I have to do. I am a grown woman and if I don't wanna do this, for my son, I'll do it, I'll go get his car. But they're not even gonna be home till Tuesday from, from Pennsylvania. So I'm like, he didn't need it right now. The guy could have left it up there overnight. And this is why we're not together, <laughs> you know? And um, so it's been stressful. So today I decided I needed a little break and we were going to do self-care Sunday just so I could vent to you guys for a little bit and and do my mask and my skincare and take a shower and do all those wonderful things and just have a little bit of time to myself. Also, um, I got my, my sissy's boxy charm in and I got my icon box in. So tomorrow I'll be filming those and they should be up by Monday, um, the latest for both of them. And then I'll do a get ready with me with the products because I looked at some of the products and they're nice. They're really, really nice. Like the icon box was definitely worth it with the beauty boost. Um, 
and so is the BoxyCharm box. They're both really good boxes this year, and it was just really, really nice. So I'm not I'm not as <laughs> upset anymore. I've managed to calm down, you know, once he left and left me alone for a little while and hasn't called me, and hopefully he's smart enough to just leave me alone tomorrow and not come by, but knowing him, he will. You know, but have you ever just wanted some time to yourself from away from like one specific person and that person refuses to give you the space and time that you need? That's what I was getting, but I am better. <laughs> I'm looking at things in a more positive light today. Well, this afternoon, because I'm now fed, I'm happy. I am relaxed with you guys and that has been my day so there's always something going on you guys know that i try and keep a good outlook on on things but today i think i was planning to um figure out where he could go permanently <laughs> you know and leave me alone for a little while so uh, this mask stays on for about 15 minutes i think we're up to about 11 you know and you're gonna rub all this into your skin you're gonna go down your neck when you take it off with the excess you're gonna to go to your chest also when you take it off with the excess. And then you're gonna put the rest of it on your hands because your hands show aging as well. And you wanna make sure that it doesn't give your age away. You know, I mean, just because we're aging does not, need to, does not mean we need to look like we are. You know, and also I did use my Juno and Juno Skin. Somebody asked me what I use as my um, cleansing balm on my face. This is it. it. I told you it was Juno and Co. It's Juno Skin Cleansing Balm. And this is the full size. And this is three ounces. And I believe it's about $20. So I'm sorry for giving you the wrong information. And if I can find your comment, then I will show you a picture of this and send you the link on this. Because this is excellent. I use it all the time. And it lasts a very, very long time. So even though it's a little pricey at $20, I think it's $20, um, you will have it a good long while. And like I said, I use this constantly, especially if you have like a lot of mascara on your face and things, you know, this will get all that stuff off me. And it's got a nice lemony fresh scent. So, it goes down to here. It does go down to the bottom. I've just started using it. This was my new one. And I've used it about 20 times so far. And you can see you only need a little bit um, with it. And it will last you a very long time. So I apologize for giving you the wrong information. I knew it was Juno. But I didn't realize it was Juno Skin and not Juno and Co. So again, this is what that looks like. Okay, so we're at the 15 minute mark. We're going to take off our face mask. Just rubbing it in one more time. And you still have all that, look at that. That's gross. Uh, and you're gonna just rub that in. Avoid your eye area, but make sure you get your crow's feet and under your eye because that's very delicate skin and that will show your age. I have really bad forehead lines, so I like to make sure I get all the moisturizer up in my forehead lines. Go, remember I tell you always do above your lip because even if you're not a smoker, you know, when you drink from a straw or a bottle, you know you get the wrinkles right here. And go down your neck with that. And you could see the difference in my skin from when I started. You know, my skin before was pale and lifeless and now we have a nice little glow to it. And then you would put on a moisturizer even if you're going to bed or in the morning. I don't do masks in the morning, but at night um, I'll put on my moisturizer and then we will get ready for the rest of the day. and You do your skincare like you normally would, but you would skip all your serums and everything because that's all in here. So that's only at more in the morning if you're going to be using it, but at night, just use your mask, put on an overnight cream, and you're good to go. So if you guys have any questions or want to know anything, give me a shout out. You already know I answer anything that you ask. And if you have any questions, I'd like to do like a Q and A. If, if anything you want to know about me, let me know, and we'll do a Q and A next Sunday or maybe on What's Up Wednesday, and I'll answer those questions for you as well. With that being said, be happy, be healthy, 
be blessed and most of all be positively you because there's no one else quite like you and that makes me so incredibly happy mm -hmm. you guys rock love you